Hey guys, what's up? Marston is here and I'm here today to teach you how to push. So guys, I'm teaching you how to push in the right way because uh, it don't look like for us who already know how to skateboard but to push right there are some little tips that are gonna help you a lot especially if you are starting to learn how to push and how to skateboard at all I am saying start to push because uh, a lot of people today, especially kids, are starting to skateboard on mini ramp. And mini ramps are nice to skate, but you don't need to push to get the speed, right? So these people who are skating mini ramps, they used to push like mongo push, you know? And that mongo push is not good because this can be a problem for you. Uh, once you start to learn how to street skateboarding or even push around and like you can see you probably know some people who push like that and to me that's a mistake because this is gonna complicate you to learn some tricks and push is the first thing that you must know on the skateboarding once you're starting it because if you don't know how to push you are literally going nowhere so that's better if you start to learn how to push on the right way okay so guys, now let's talk about the feet position, okay? I am teaching how to push like a regular, but if you are goofy, you just do whatever I'm saying, but on the another side, okay? So one important thing is that I've seen, especially here in Brazil, a lot of our skateboard teachers teaching people how to push with the front foot like that, in that position here, with your toes, pointing forward to your nose, like your front foot straight like that. I personally don't like it because this, once you're using your front foot straight like that, you kind of gonna lose your little balance because if you are here with your front foot and you kind of start to lean to your right, you won't be able to save your balance because you have no way to compensate it. And the same if you are leaning to your left side like this. But once you're using your front foot like this, kind of like a point in diagonal like this, that's gonna help you because if you are here in the same situation, you are over your skateboarding and you start to lean to your right, you can use your toe, make some strength on it to get in backwards. And the same if you are leaning to your left side, you're gonna use your heels to make some strength here, downwards, so you start to get a little bit forward. With your front foot in this position, that is gonna help you a lot on the balance, okay? And you must keep in mind that you must uh, respect the limitation of your deck. What I mean is, you must use like the sideways of your deck, like this, to know how much you must to turn your front foot. So, I just use like this. I respect the limit here of my deck, so I kind of torture my toe on the limit here. And the same as my heel, I just kind of torture it. I don't leave my heel outside, or even my toes outside as well. Because if I keep it like outside my here or my big toe here, that only be good because uh, if you need to get some balance again, once you're pushing, that'll be a little bit complicated for you, okay? So always keep your front foot always inside of your board, okay? But I'm always respecting this limit here. And another thing is you must be thinking, oh, but how far I can use my front foot? Like that on my nose or here in the middle of my skateboarding. So actually I always place my front foot here over one bolt. You probably already know we have like four bolts here on the front side of the skateboard and also on the back side of the skateboard. So I just place my front foot here over one bolt. And you might be like, oh, but which one of them if I have four? Once you place your front foot like this, you start to go forward like this until it reach one bolt. And you can think that is the bolt where your little toe will be over the bolt like this, okay? If you are regular or if you are goof like this. And why I place my front foot here? Because if I place my front foot too close to the middle, it will be too close to my back foot here. And once the distance between my front foot and my back foot are too close, we start to lose some balance. That will be harder to get the balance over our board. So if we keep it like too far away from each other, that will not be so good because the skateboarding has a tail and a nose. And if you place it, for example, like this, your board gonna do like this once you take out your back foot, okay? So you must pay attention on it. So always put it here over one bolt to avoid that kind of thing. And here it is why I don't recommend you to push like this with your front foot pointing like forward to your nose. Because watch this. If I start to pushing and get some speed and do an ollie, I must push here, position my back foot there. And my front foot I must be like doing like this, sliding until I get the position to make an ollie, okay? And as you can see, if I'm with my front foot here, I must do like this, and this, and this, and this, 
be like sliding three, four times until I get in the position to the ollie. But once you are pushing with my front foot, like pointing that way, like this, respect all the sides of my board. Once I push, I position my back foot and my front foot I just slide once and then I do a ollie. So you don't need to be like sliding, sliding, sliding to get the position here. Once your, once your front foot is like this, pointing to your nose, you just slide once like this to get the position to do the ollie or a kick flip or whatever, okay? So that's why I truly recommend you to start to push with your front foot like this and not like this. Now, talk about the back foot here. I'm gonna use it here, like this. You don't place it over your bolts. Actually, in the beginning, you can do like that. But if you place it over your bolts here, your back foot will be close to your front foot here, like this. The space between them will be quite a little, so that won't be good for your balance, okay, over your board. So my back foot, I always use here, right behind all my four bolts, okay, especially these two bolts here. And I don't use it like on the tip of my tail, because once you are learning it, you may kind of lose your balance and leave your rage over your back foot. And if this happens, the skateboarding will be like this. And this won't be good, okay. So you place it close to your bolts here. But you must watch all the four bolts once you are over your skateboard with your back foot. And I don't want to replace it like this, like the front foot, or the another way. I always place here, pointing to my right side, okay? If you are regular. But if you are goofy, you're gonna point like this, point outside like to your left side. And I don't use like this, and even like this, just like this. And I use it here because uh, once you start to learn like how to do a ollie or whatever trick, that you must pop your skateboard, your big toe here, you'll be close to your tail. So that'll be way much easier to just drag it here and then pop. So this is gonna save your time and you won't be need to be like a position your, your back foot in a lot of ways. So that's gonna make you lose time, okay? And time on the skateboard is quite important. So guys, now let's talk about one important thing that we must pay attention once you are pushing, okay? And it is our body weight over the skateboarding. A lot of people that start to skateboard, especially pushing, they used to fall backwards, kind of like this. They put their front foot here and then push and fall backwards, like this. And the skateboard kind of go like far away. If it already happened to you, your body's weight was in the wrong place especially your head. I'm gonna explain what I mean with this. Once we are about to push, our front foot will be here on this position. All our body's weight must be over your front foot all the time, especially once you're pushing and put your back foot over your board, okay? Pay attention to that because a lot of people make this mistake and leave their body weight here and then they just fall backwards. So our front foot must be here on, the, on its position and all our body's weight here over our front foot and our head especially our head, must be over our nose, not this nose, our board's nose. Because if your head is like a, a little bit over your front foot, it's kind of okay to be in this position, because you're gonna still have your, your balance over your front foot. But once your head is over the middle of your board, like this, like this, your weight will be kind of like uh, over your front foot and your back foot. And this kind of is not a problem, but from this position now, I mean backwards like this, this is a problem because uh, once your head is over your back foot, that means that all your body's weight is over your back foot. And if it's a little bit far behind, you may, you may fall like this. So always pay a lot of attention on it, okay? Because you must do the right thing. And the right thing is leave your body's weight over your front foot, especially your head over your board's nose, okay? Always like that. And once you are pushing here, just pretend I'm pushing, getting like a 50 miles per hour. And you place your back foot here over your board's tail. Your body must be in the same position as when we are pushing. It won't change at all. And if I need to take out my back foot, I do it. It's not a problem. So I can take it out and push, 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 and, and put it here over my skateboard. And my weight over my board will never change. And one, one exercise that is gonna help you to understand this about the, your body's weight and all your balance that you must keep over your front foot is just like this. You just keep standing, you don't go anywhere, get your front foot on its position and just pretend you are pushing. And then replace it here on your board's tail. And then just pretend you are pushing again and place your back foot there. And always keep here your front leg with all its strength 
and your head over your nose and all your body's weight and balance here in this area or to be more precise over your front foot okay so guys that is my point of view when you're pushing so i don't recommend you to start pushing like the skateboard in front of you like this because if you are starting like this when you get your front foot on the position here your back foot can kind of be like stuck here under your skateboard and that won't be good because you may fall forward and you kind of lose your wish to live so that won't be good and i don't recommend you start pushing like this with the skateboard in front of you like that way because once you are getting your front foot in the position here you kind of need to split your legs to get the first push like this okay if you don't have a good stretch that won't be good for you so what I truly recommend you is to start push with your skateboard back to you and you always, 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 always put your front foot first, okay? Like this. Once you are in the position here with your front foot, you're gonna push with the floor like this with your back foot there and then you're gonna position your back foot over there, your tail, right behind your back bolts. Like this. Yeah, and once you stop and you're about to do the second push, you just take your back foot out, position here, right by the side of the skateboard, but not too close here, because you can kind of hit your back wheel right on your heel like this. So you just position like here, like uh, two or three inches close to the skateboarding, and then push again. And position your back foot there. And you keep doing like this a lot of times until you get used to and then be comfortable on it. Well, another tip that I can give it to you is this. If you are not comfortable yet with standing over your skateboarding, you can do like this. You get like a skateboarding tool, or I don't know how to say that in English, this part here, but whatever. You're gonna tie your skateboard wheels. Because if you're not used to get over skateboarding, this can be a little bit scared in the beginning, because the skateboard is used to be like uh, rolling all the time once you're over it. So if you just tie your wheels like this, that will be good for you because your skateboard will be still, that I want to be moving so fast. And that will be really nice and quite good for you. This is going to help you to be used to be over skateboarding and to be more confident to start pushing doing some tricks, okay? So once you start to get comfortable over your skateboarding like this with the tight wheels, so you start to lose it then, not too much, but in the beginning, but just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And this will be quite helpful for you so you can start to feel comfortable with the skateboard and rolling normally, okay? So guys, it was the push tutorial. I hope you really liked it. And if you enjoyed and liked it, so please leave a like here. Subscribe here if you're not subscribed yet. And leave some comments here, especially if you have some tips that are gonna help some people learn it better. So that's it, and I hope to see you in the next videos. Whoa!